Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 6 from the Jan 2016 POA Paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So please be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the solution. Okay, so it reads that Intergalactic Voyages is a limited company. On 1st of April 2015, the following information is available. All right, so we have authorized share capital and we have issued share capital and we have ordinary shares and we have preference shares. Okay, we also have debentures. So it says that all shares and debentures were fully subscribed and paid up. As in people said, hey, I'm going to buy these shares and then they actually paid for them. So using the form below, prepare the journal entry to record the issue of the shares and another journal entry to record the issue of the debentures. Okay, so let's, let's get some more information first. So we issued 300,000 out of the 500. The par value is a dollar, but the issue price is $1.50. When you issue at a price above par value, the excess above par value is called the share premium. Similarly, for the preference shares, 200,000, 8% at 250, and we issued 100,000 at 250. So the share, the preference shares were issued at par value. So we don't have to worry about a premium on them. We only have to worry about the premium on the ordinary shares. Okay, let's deal with the share capital first, right? So with journal entries, we know the debit entry is supposed to come first, but that'll go to cash or bank or cash book. But we need to know how much money first. So what we're going to do, we're going to populate the credit items, credit entries, and then we're going to put the debit. Right, but the debit will be shown first. So the first credit entry is the 300,000 ordinary shares at a dollar, the par value. So I know they were issued at a dollar fifty, but you need to record the par value separately from the premium. So 300,000 by one is 300,000. So ordinary shares at par, 300,000. Right, then you have 100,000, two dollar and fifty cent preference shares. Now the eight percent is the dividend rate. That does not come into play when you are issuing the shares. I encountered some students who just, they would automatically multiply whenever they saw a percent. Please be aware of what you are doing, be aware of what the information is, what it means, and act accordingly. Don't just go into an automatic mode and multiply because you're accustomed to doing that. No, be aware. Okay, so 100,000 by 250 is $250,000. So that's the par value of the 8% preference shares. And now we're gonna deal with the extra 50 cents for the ordinary shares, the share premium. So we earn an extra 50 cents on top, or sorry, on top of every dollar for the 300,000 ordinary shares. So 300,000 by 50 cents is 150,000. And when we add all of these together, we get 700,000, I believe. Right, so I have cash book. You could put bank, you could put cash. To me, it doesn't make a difference. And I'm noticing I didn't put a, a narration. All right, so if you had to put a narration, you put to record the issue of 300,000 ordinary shares at $1.50 each and 100,000 8% preference shares at $2.50 each. Now, the separate entry for the debentures, it was $400,000, so we had no calculation to do this. So debit cash book, 400,000, credit debentures, 400,000. Now again, you're seeing a 6%. That is the interest rate. That's when we have to pay them interest, the debenture holders. It has nothing to do with when you issue the debentures and collect the money. So please understand that. If you want to see more about limited companies, the journal entry specifically, I'm going to put a card up there to my video on that and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out. Now let's check out the next part of the question. Okay, so for part B, it says at the end of one year's trading, the company reported a net operating profit of $576,000. The directors proposed the following. Pay dividends to all shareholders, including dividends of 55 cents per share to ordinary shareholders transfer 180,000 to the general reserve. And you have to do an appropriation account for intergalactic for the year ended 31st March, 2015. Okay, so let's start populating this information across here. So start with the name of the entity, the name of the statement, the period to which it applies, some dollar signs. So the net operating profit is 576, and we're gonna minus the appropriation. So dividend wise, we have to pay it to all shareholders and preference shareholders are paid before ordinary shares. So let me just pull up the information on the preference shares again. So it says here we issued 100,000 8% percent preference shares at 250 each. So now is where the 8% comes in. So you'll multiply the 100,000 by the 250 to find the par value of the preference shares in issue and then multiply 8% by that. All right, let's see what that looks like. It looks like this, right? 8% of 250,000 is 20,000. Now, the dividend for ordinary shares is 55 cents per share. 
you have issued 300,000 shares. So you're simply going to multiply 55 cents, 0.55, by 300,000. That's going to look like that, total dividends. And we have a transfer of 180,000 to the general reserve. That's going to look like that, total appropriation 365. Subtracted from the 576 gives us the retained earnings carried forward. And it seems since the company was just started, there was no retained earnings balance brought forward. Okay, so just a couple of little theory parts. Let's get to that very quickly. Okay, so this next part asks, how did the issue of the benches affect net operating profit and by how much? So as the benches are a liability, the issue would not have affected net operating profit. But that's just me being smart, right? They really were asking about the interest, right? The interest payable on the debentures would have reduced profit by 24000 because interest is an expense. And it was $400,000 worth of debentures and the interest rate on the debentures was 6% which would have given us 24000 in terms of interest expense. The last part of the question is asking about list any four steps in the accounting cycle. So you know me. I will just give you all the steps, right? So we have, well, source documents, right? The transactions, and you have original entry, generalize the transactions, post the ledgers, double entry, extract a trial balance to double check your accuracy. Then you have your adjustments. You have an adjusted trial balance. Then you could do your closing entries, prepare financial statements, and do a post-closing trial balance. Now, these are the steps that I know. There are different versions, apparently, of this accounting cycle. If you have a different version, I want you to comment in the, in the comment section and let me know what your version is. Okay, guys, so that's about it for this question. I'm going to put some cards up here. If you want to check out some more videos, please subscribe and click the notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. And don't forget to check out my website for some free payaway handouts. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye.